On October 16, 2024, U.S. Central Command, CENTCOM, launched precision airstrikes targeting underground weapons storage facilities in areas of Yemen controlled by Iran-backed Houthi forces. This marks the first combat use of the B-2 stealth bombers since 2017. These facilities house conventional weapons used by the Houthis in their attacks on U.S. and international vessels in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden. According to CENTCOM, the airstrikes aim to reduce the Houthis' ability to disrupt maritime traffic in this vital region, impacting both commercial shipping and regional stability. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin confirmed that the operation, which utilized multiple U.S. Air Force and Navy assets, focused on five heavily fortified underground storage sites within Yemen. These sites held missiles, weapon components, and munitions used by the Houthis. The operation saw B-2 bombers from the 13th Bomb Squadron of the 509th Bomb Wing and the 131st Bomb Wing of the Missouri Air National Guard, operating out of Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. These bombers were equipped with 2,000-pound Mark 84 bombs modified with Joint Direct Attack Munition JDM kits, allowing for precise strikes on deeply buried facilities. Each B-2 can carry up to 20 tons of bombs, providing significant long-range strike capabilities. Houthi-controlled media outlet al masira reported airstrikes near Yemen's capital, Sana'a, and in their stronghold of Sada, though no immediate details on damage or casualties were provided. CENTCOM's initial assessments indicated no civilian casualties. The Houthis have historically used underground tunnels, originally constructed for storing Scud missiles, to hide their weapons stockpiles, further complicating efforts to disrupt their operations. The strikes are seen as a message to Iran, a key supporter of the Houthi movement. In recent years, Iran has carried out missile attacks on Israel, and the B-2 Spirit is the only U.S. aircraft capable of deploying the GBU-57 Massive Ordnance Penetrator, a bomb designed for targeting fortified facilities, such as Iran's nuclear sites. The ongoing Houthi attacks on merchant vessels in the Red Sea since October 2023 have raised international concerns. CENTCOM strikes are part of broader efforts to secure these waters against further disruptions to commercial shipping. The Houthis claim their attacks target vessels linked to Israel, the US, and the UK due to their involvement in the Gaza conflict. However, some of the vessels attacked had no direct connection to the conflict. In recent months, Houthi forces have seized one vessel, sunk two others, and caused the deaths of four sailors, prompting ongoing concern about their impact on maritime security. The Northrop B-2 Spirit, commonly known as the Stealth Bomber, has been a cornerstone of U.S. strategic bomber capabilities since its inception. Originally developed during the Carter administration in the late 1970s as part of the Advanced Technology Bomber Program, the B-2 was designed to evade radar defenses and deliver nuclear payloads deep into enemy territory. Initially intended to replace the B-1A, the B-2 program faced budget cuts and delays, reducing the planned production from 132 units to 21. Since entering service in 1997, the B-2 has been deployed in conflicts such as the Kosovo War, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya. Its distinctive flying wing design reduces radar visibility and improves aerodynamic efficiency, allowing extended-range missions. Equipped with radar-absorbing materials and advanced flight controls, the B-2 can be operated by a two-person crew. It carries the N-APQ-181 radar providing critical navigation and target acquisition capabilities. Ongoing modernization programs, supported by a recent $7 billion contract with Northrop Grumman, aim to enhance the B-2's defensive and communication systems to meet emerging threats, including cyber risks. The Spirit Realm 1 SR-1 upgrade introduces an open mission systems architecture, facilitating faster software updates and new weapon system integrations. This reduces update times from years to months, helping maintain the B-2's operational relevance in future conflicts. In addition to nuclear capabilities, the B-2 has demonstrated its effectiveness in conventional strike roles. During the RIMPAC 2024 exercise, the B-2 employed the QuickSync Maritime Strike capability, designed to sink surface vessels using modified JDM bombs. This marked the first public test of the system, showcasing the B-2's versatility in striking both land and maritime targets. Despite its high operational and maintenance costs, the B-2 remains a critical component of the U.S. Air Force's bomber fleet. However, the Air Force plans to gradually retire the B-2 by 2032 as the next-generation B-21 Raider comes online. The October 2024 airstrikes in Yemen underscore the enduring strategic importance of the B-2 spirit and its role in modern U.S. military operations.
As tensions with Iran and regional instability in the Middle East continue, the B-2's ability to deliver precision strikes on heavily fortified targets remains vital. The modernization programs will ensure that the B-2 remains a formidable tool in the U.S. arsenal until it is ultimately replaced by the B-21 Raider in the next decade.